What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas. This is a walkthrough on how to install Panasonic's DMW SFU 1GU upgrade software key set. This software key allows you to unlock the VLOG L function on the Panasonic GH4. If you're familiar with the GH4, you know that this has been in the works for quite some time. Now, I'm going to get on my soapbox here for a minute. Panasonic literally shipped me a piece of cardboard with a key taped to it. This software key could have easily been emailed to me the moment that I placed my order. I don't understand why Panasonic has opted to ship out pieces of cardboard with keys taped to them to their customers when this could have easily been deployed the moment that they announced it. Assuming you have this software key, we're going to want to make sure that your GH4 is fully powered. You do not want to go through this process of updating firmware or activating your software key with a, a less than full battery. I would not recommend anything less than a full battery and Panasonic recommends the same. So make sure your battery is full. Now now that your battery is full, you're going to want to head on over to Panasonic and we need to make sure that your GH4 is version 2.4 before we can activate the software key. So head on over to Panasonic's website to download the firmware, whether it's a .exe or a .zip file, depending on if you're on Windows or on Mac. Just make sure you select the right one. I know they both come as a bin file, but let's just be safe and make sure you're downloading the correct version for your operating system. Now I'm working on a Mac, so when I extract the the file contents of the .zip file that I've downloaded from Panasonic's website, I want to make sure that I have a .bin file before I place it on the root of my SD card that I'm going to place back into my GH4. Now that the .bin file is at the root of my SD card that I'm going to place back into my GH4, I'm going to secure the SD card, close the door, and then power on the GH4. From there, I'm going to hit the play button to preview some media and the GH4 is going to prompt me to update my version firmware. Here we're going to make sure that it is indeed version 2.4 before we hit start the version up. As soon as you hit yes, be prepared to sit for a little bit because it is a, a substantial firmware update. When it's all said and done, we want to make sure that we indeed have uh, updated firmware. So from the wrench menu, you're going to go to the four out of the six pages, go to the version display and make sure that you are indeed to version 2.4 before we continue. Now we're ready to export our serial number to our SD card. Now from the same wrench menu, head on down to the sixth page of that menu system and enter the active because that's where you export your serial. As soon as that's done, power down your GH4, take out your SD card, and let's head on over to your computer again. Now from Panasonic's main page of where you download the firmware, more specifically, you're gonna be looking for about extended function of VLOG L for the DMC GH4. As soon as you click into that, you're given another set of how to activate your function for the GH4, just skip forward, click into it, and then it's going to prompt you to upload your serial.lst. Your serial.lst is located on the SD card that you took from your GH4 under private, pana underscore grp, pvc, lumix, actv, and then you'll find your serial.lst. Double click that so it uploads to Panasonic's website so they're verifying your information. When that's finished, you're going to be given an opportunity to enter your key code. This is where you're going to have to make sure that you're entering exactly what is on your cardboard that came in the mail. After you enter your key code, hit register and then you're going to be prompted to download your activate LST file. Put your active LST file in exactly the same place where you exported your serial.lst. All right, so we're in the home stretch. Properly eject your SD card and return it to your GH4 and power that beast on. You should still be on the same menu system. And then if you're not, go ahead and head through the wrench. On the sixth page, you're going to see activate. Click into activate. From there, instead of exporting your serial code, you want to import an activation code. Immediately, the GH4 is going to prompt you to power it down, power it back on, and voila, you have VLOG on your GH4. Enjoy. Well, that about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you like this video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down and let me know in the comment section down below what it is that I can do to improve. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel and some of the past works that I've done. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel and you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.